This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Don't let your kids watch it! Hey there, Artie! Okay, no, we're still here. Satoko's plan was de definitely simple, but scrupulous. It even looked like the entire situation had gone according to her calculations. The fact that we were losing by one point. The fact that I had come late. The fact that Satoko was the last batter. It even felt like, kind of like this had already been set up before the game started. There had been a long time out since I got here. And during that time, the opposing pitcher, Kometa Kuhn, took a bathroom break. Even that felt calculated. No, this is Satoko we're talking about. So maybe, maybe she gave him a laxative somehow? Calculated to get him to use the bathroom at this exact moment? And while he was a long way off, shut up in the bathroom, our plan would begin. The opposing pitcher, Kometa Kuhn, there he was. In front of the urinal, pleasantly taking care of business. He thought it was only natural he would win at a grass lock game like this, and relaxed enough to relieve himself without a care in the world. Maybe that's how he wanted to appear. However, his relaxed state was itself our chance. Right now, you've already conceded to our club. I too casually walked into the bathroom. There were three urinals. Kometa Kuhn was doing his business at the farthest one. I went to the one next to him. That is breaking the urinal code of honor. Excuse me. You, if you can avoid it, you always avoid taking the one directly next to somebody. What a... Alright. Normally, you would leave one urinal open. Yes! You would. That is the law. <laughs> Kometa Kuhn seemed to notice me. I had stood right next to him, after all. Nanda. Okay, this is already incredibly unrealistic. Men never talk in the bathroom. <laughs> Especially if we're using the urinals adjacent to each other. That is That does not happen. He recalled seeing me swing the golf club around like an idiot, and he couldn't seem to resist the urge to laugh. I, however, wasn't frustrated in the slightest. The match had already been won the moment I arrived. The game had been decided as a big upset for our team. So now, all I had to do was push Fane's along exactly how Satoko planned. <laughs> I'm the one who should be laughing. <laughs> Tomita Kun and Okamura Kun, our underclassmen, asked another question with much trepidation. That's true. I forgot. Everybody in this uh, game is an absolute nutcase. That's why. If our world was run by Keiichi, that would be a bad future. I definitely don't like picturing that with the malevolent smiles on their face right now. Our teammates exchanged glances. Did my Bara Senpai really have such incredible strength? Just what kind of strength could that be? My question caused Kometa Kun to stare in bewilderment, and for a moment he didn't know what to say. I smiled thinly, looked straight ahead, and said it once more clearly. Right to the point. No threats, or beating around the bush, or anything. Kometa's brain couldn't figure out the meaning of what I'd said, and I could clearly tell he was confused. Bro, you're the one who's, like, going all out ham-fisted against ten-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> What's your answer? Is it yes, or is it... Oh, yes! <laughs> well, yes, but that's beside the point. Kameda didn't hide his bewilderment. He didn't want to be around someone who would babble on like this for another second. At the urinals. I don't blame him! <laughs> Those thoughts spilled into his expression, and he quickly moved to leave the bathroom. <laughs> he grinned lightly as he answered, as if to make fun of me. <laughs> 
勝利こそ絶対何にも変えられないってわけだ<笑>そんなのは当たり前だろうどんな脅しにも買収にも勝利を放棄させるような対価は存在しない I was waiting for those words I, after spinning around three and a half times pointed right at Kometa's face ならば聞くべきじゃないのかそれほど尊い勝利を放棄させるに値するどんな対価が提供されるのかを<笑>な何をバカなことを What is happening? そんなもの存在するわけがない<笑> He was denying it, but he stopped. He stopped. He was waiting. He was waiting for me to present some attractive conditions. Kimi was the Shino interview. Kobuts are yakiniku de Kiraina mono a my mono da to kotaeta la shinga. I like both. So they were uso janai no. What? Na Nani? Tato eba Kimi ga yakiniku kui hoda ni tato sere. 君が皿に持ってくるのは一体何だロースかカルビか牛タンの山か<笑>違うよな。君が持ってくるのは肉じゃない。食い放題のプリンやゼリーやケーキなのだ女の子が喜びそうな。綺麗で可愛らしくて愛くるしい。This is only gonna work because it's the 80s. <笑>そんな洋菓子が。How scandalous for him to like dessert. <laughs> Why is this like a scandal? <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, I, I like meat. I'm not a huge fan of like sweet fans. It's like, literally, this only works because it's the 80s and it's like, oh, you, you like dessert? What are you, a girl? <laughs> it's like, bro, I can throw a fastball at 90 miles an hour. <laughs> girl! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Our club already knew that he ate a mountain of desserts when he went to the grilled meat buffet. There's a, such a thing as a grilled meat buffet? Is that a Japan thing? <laughs> And we were well aware of his embarrassment at his weakness for sweets despite his age. Kameda kun couldn't possibly have known that the particular grilled meat buffet chain in Shishibone was owned by a member of the Sonozaki family. Oh, it, oh, oh my gosh, wait, is he going to the Hooters that Shion works at as well? Actually, Shion may not exist in this timeline. <laughs> What the heck? I like. I remember all the creepy guys who were at the the Hooters who were just eating all the desserts. Well, I guess maybe you don't want to be associated with them. Okay, fair enough. You get my point, though. I'll have to be careful when I go out to eat with my parents from now on. KG, this is so stupid. フリルやリボンで飾り付けられた無垢な汚れを知らぬ少女を連想させるそんな透き通った少女のような可愛いデザートを It's amazing how much can change after a If somebody like today was trying to make fun of me for liking dessert I would literally just laugh in their face being like Bro you're stupid and just leave ニキビだらけの欲望丸出しのスポーツ狩りが怪我するようにバリバリとムシャムシャと Okay this is um very very strange そうだお前はデザートを食べてめでているんじゃない怪我し、蹂躙し、しゃぶり尽くしているだけ What the heck? お前はデザートを怪我して楽しんでいるだけなんだ You're so weird, bro. キャーもう食べた知られてしまった<笑> Five Cyclops break. How is this destroying this guy? Don't... This is one of the most ridiculous things I've read. Bruh, there's fan fiction that's better written than this. <laughs> What the heck is happening? c r u s a l a m I hit him on the side of the head as hard as I could. Kometa kun fell down like a girl. His eyes started watering and he broke down. I don't think I want to keep reading, man. Wait, this is. 
Okay, now we're just we're just gonna skip through this. Omae wa skebe da. Uh huh. This time I didn't hit him. Instead, I clapped my hands down onto his shoulders. Okay, now I really don't want to keep reading. Bruh, there is definitely something wrong with being a pervert. Like, 100%. Dun dun! Nope. ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
That was the moment we exchanged the most zealous handshake the world has ever known. The handshake of the bond of our souls. Ardent and intense. Tight and steadfast. For a long time, we remained that way. Uh-huh. It was an enthusiastic handshake, as though we were two brothers separated at birth, embracing each other tightly as though it would give us back the time that we had sent apart. How did Satoko come up with the, like this plan? Just like, call Keiji over here and have him give this speech about how being a pervert is great, and then he'll lose. It's like, what? <laughs> You're insane. And what's even more insane is that this is probably going to work. This was the moment the man who had passed into legend for eating so much during Angel Mort's All-You-Can-Eat Dessert Day that he was banned from the restaurant forevermore was born. He would eventually write in his autobiography that our meeting this day was fate. But none of that had anything to do with this. With just that, I turned on my heel and made to leave the bathroom. But then Kometa-kun stopped me. <laughs> my name is D. D's nuts. Yeah. I kind of didn't feel like using my real name. Anyway, maybe I should just lie to him and use a codename. You already said it out loud! It's too late! K. 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 Wait, was that actually an embarrassing name? I left the bathroom behind me at a quick pace, hiding my embarrassment. But for one I heard later, I apparently looked quite gallant coming out like that. Mm-hmm. Far better than they had any right to. I pray to God that we do not get a scene of that. エンジェルモートにデザート食べ放題で出席ね。了解。手配しとくよ。どういう風に交渉したのか。ノ、リカ。リカ、you this is bad. After that, the game started again. I entered the batter's box a, as a pinch hitter in place of Mion. This took far longer than it should have, but all the pieces were already in place. The straight pitch whipped by me like a bullet, true to its name. The camera's people raised their voices in wonder and clicked their shutters. A sharp pitch as always! He's really going places this summer, isn't he? That golf club pinch hitter is standing straight up too! <laughs> but doesn't Kometa-kun look a little strange? It's like he got a cold sweat. I patted my shoulders with my bat and sneered at him in a relaxed voice. <laughs> now he gets a sprite. Okay. There, there he is, I guess. He does not have a sprite in the original. Oh, he only has his console sprite. The remake just reuses it from the console. The next pitch, with the same incredible speed as before, it curved sharply and should have thrown off the batter's skill. But Keiji didn't move at all. He just watched coolly. Both the reporters and all the people watching noticed something was strange here. Was Ushima's Kameda, the pitcher who conquered Koshien, losing the mental battle? The next straight pitch had incredible speed again, but it went, went a little wild. It was a ball. I snorted, not even bothering to get ready for it. The abnormal, unexpected situation spread confusion throughout the reporters. Oh no, man is here! Wait, was, but wasn't man over at our house? Did he come over here just to watch? Man, he's kind of obsessed with us. Huh. <laughs> 
あんな不真面目そうな男にあの亀田が撃たれるはずはないいや私ははったりとは思えないな超一流は同じく超一流を見抜くというあの亀田は曲げようもなく超一流ならばこそあの謎の男の進化を見抜ける A really business person looking guy took off his sunglasses and gazed upon Keiji. The idiot pinch hitter who came in cheering them on with a golf club was actually a genius? <laughs> you see, now this writing is good. <laughs> What's up more than this? What a tremendous loss for baseball! Stop the presses! We're changing up our sports columns. I can't believe this is real. Boy! This is full count. The successive production was, of course, all being dramatized by Satogo. Yeah, the big shots constantly had their eyes on Kometakun. If he were to lose easily, they knew the match would have to have been fixed. Perhaps she wanted this little play of ours to create a mood where it wouldn't be strange for Kometakun to lose, but. Satoko, Kore, do you mean to be a little bit more? Oh, ha 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 Kamatakun hung his head in feigned dejection. Kisa, this is a very good thing. I can't believe this is happening. Ah, you're a good guy, Kamatakun. I'm going to ask you for the next batter. I'm going to ask you for the next batter. I'm going to ask you for the next batter. The Clannad baseball skits were way better. Kamatakun and I exchanged evil smiles. That they're gonna get that. For some reason, there was a lot of camera flashes right then. It seemed like our dear journalist friends took it as two worthy rivals smiling to acknowledge each other's strength. As I trotted over to first base, the camera flashes continued almost to the point where they were annoying. As the paparazzi. When I got to first base, one of the reporters came over for an interview. My, my brother, this Kamatakun and the match. Ugh, Fiends seemed like they were about to get too big for me. Maybe I should just be honest and confess that I'm not really into baseball. <laughs> this man, right from the start, he was always aiming for the world. He might become Japan's first ever big leaguer. What? Um, the conversation was getting fantastically out of hand. Oh, I don't care anymore. I'll strike a guts pose for the cameras into desperation. Yosha, Saksen Dori Kei-chan got stuck. Next is Satoko-chan's turn. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, let's go to the big home run. Satoko stepped up to the plate, waving the bat around. The reporters couldn't hold back their laughter, maybe because they had just seen his battle with me. My Barracoon finally got on base, and now it's all over. I see. So that's why Kometakun intentionally walked him. He didn't even fight it. He waited for an easier opponent for the final out. But to avoid a direct confrontation like that, we cannot make light of him. That Keiji Mayabara. So, Kometa-san, please. Uh-oh. Baka ni suru na! Ore o dare da to omotte iru nda? There he is. It's <laughs> just her. And then... There, there, there they are. Whoever this girl stepped up to bat... <laughs> whoever this girl stepped up to bat, she had swun wildly and missed, striking out every time. Well, you know, we can't all be pro baseball players. This might sound rude, but however much Kometa Kun holds back, I don't think she'll be able to hit a home run. I could hear the reporters declaring that there was no way a comeback would happen. Wait, what? Satoko, she swan wildly and missed every single time she stepped up to bat? She swan after the sound had ended, completely mistiming it. 
I could hear disappointed voices coming from those rooting for Hinamizawa. It's only natural. Every single batter is struck out. Even if worse came to worse, no one would get a hit. And that's why it didn't sound strange when Kometakun said this. Alright. Of course, these lines were all part of the plot, too. From out of the corner of his eye, Kometakun gives me a look. Was that alright? Ah, I don't mind these two becoming bros. I do mind these two becoming bros over something as weird as what they did. Even that exchange was seen as heated and enthusiastic by the reporters. Our exchange was over. Kometakun moved from a set position into a pitching stance. Oh, Dane! Okay. That's a pretty baller CG right there. Pun intended. <laughs> well, she just randomly has a clover in her mouth. Yeah, just for, just for the pose. She had struck out every time she was at bat. When I heard that, my vague ideas became firm beliefs. And out of Kometakun's hand comes a slow, lazy pitch, as though they were playing catch. Normal people would probably be able to hit it, but for Satoko, who had been striking out the whole time, just when people started to think that way, the members of our club had suddenly realized that Satoko's trap had begun. It was true. Striking out constantly today had all been laying the groundwork for this moment. An act. All to make it feel like Kometakun letting off the gas wasn't strange at all. Which meant, in other words, that Satoko. <laughs> oh, dude! It's another great CG. That's fantastic. Whoa! She got it! Look at it go! <laughs> the super huge home run Satoko hit disappeared over the roof of the school. The reporters lost their words at the sight. And then, roars of applause! Despite this being what we'd anticipated, I can't help but stare in mute amuse amazement at the gorgeous home run. Satoko strutted over to first base. Satoko grinned, showing her fane like canines in reply. Come to think of it, she played baseball a lot with Tomita-kun and the others during lunch, didn't she? The fact that they had always invited her to play meant she was by no means bad at it. <laughs> no, no, that actually was real. Sure. The damn it! That sounded kind of cool. Basically, she was just bragging about hitting the ball. But when Satoko did it, it looked so cool. We crossed home plate in order, me, then Satoko, and completed our walk-off home run. Our teammates welcomed us back with their blessings. My bar son! That was amazing! Totally cool! I never thought it would happen! Tomita-kun and Okamura-kun praised me. Why are there, again, why are there like newspaper journalists here Is it for the grudge match? Was it just like, oh my gosh, professional baseball players here, we gotta go too. I briskly clapped my hand against Rena's outstretched palm. Yeah, she did she did way better. Okay, I just want to check. Is Mion actually bandaged in one of the other arts? Okay, no. No, she's not bandaged in any of these. Man, can't underestimate her. Satoko Hojo! 
Thank you. よくあの亀田を口説き落とせたね。口先の魔術師なのです。Rena, Erika, you gotta open your mouth a little more. リカちゃんそれ褒め言葉じゃないと思うな。しかし本当に圭一さんでなくてはできない荒技ですわね。私にはとても真似できませんわ。ぜひ今度私にもご教授いただきたいです、ね。No, no, he can't she not should not be teaching anybody. あんな荒技をサトコがこなしたら、想像するのも恐ろしい。くれぐれも真似はしないでくれよな。Even he knows that. After declaring the match over, the umpire came to us. いや、There he is! まさか、本当に勝てるとは。It's Mr. Eerie. He's wow! I can't believe he actually did it! 驚きましたよ。サトコなら撃てるって言ったでしょ全然信じてくれないのかな<笑> Don't actually answer that. The umpire scratched his head apologetically and apologized to Satoko, smiling dryly. それにケイチ君だってすごかったでしょケイチ君ってここ一番で本当に頼りになる人なんですよ。I don't know if that's a good thing. いやー、ゴルフクラブで乱入してきたときは本当に大丈夫かと思いましたけど。あの亀田君との息詰まる攻防は手に汗を握りましたよ。Right, that breathtaking farce. I corked a wry smile. Not even the Buddha would have realized that while everyone thought this was a fair match, Kameda Kun and I were thinking about our evil dessert violating ways. Yet, I don't want to think about that either. さて監督、約束、ちゃんと覚えてるよね。Uh oh. <laughs> これは。仕方がありませんね What did you promise, Eerie? <laughs> やったねやったねケイチ君、これで明日はバーベキュー大会だよ Barbecue! Is it like real barbecue or fake barbecue though? Rena clapped her hands and we all began to dance with joy. Tomina Kun and our other teammates were jumping up and down too. な,なんだなんだ <laughs> If we lost, he would have driven us to the outskirts of town and left us there. バーベキュー大会 Barbecue! Barbecue. Yes. I see. So that's what this was about. It was certainly not a game we could have lost. All of the members of the Hinamazawa fighters raised their fists high in the air and cheered. Rika chan was petting the head of the umpire, who was smiling painfully at the off kilter remarks. He gave her his head and looked like he was about to cry. It looked like the price of victory would be pretty big. This is why most, most coaches just treat them to ice cream afterwards. It's a lot more affordable than barbecue. We're going to the three Michelin star barbecue restaurant, right? Or is he making his own? Just vegetables is not barbecue. You need me. <laughs> He's gonna, I, I barbecue jackfruit, but it's, it's pork. <laughs> the umpire, whom they were calling Coach, grinned dryly, crestfallen. Umpire? Coach? The uniform he was wearing had Hinamizawa fighters written on it. No, it doesn't. It has one H written on it. <laughs> oh, so he's not just the umpire. He actually was coaching our. He was our team's coach. That can't be kosher. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the coach is not allowed to be the unbiased umpire. Maebara kun de yokatta desu ka? O namae. Eh? Ah, hi. Maebara kun no hitsurui ga nakereba arienai gyakuten deshita. Zehi. Like thanks. Yeah, yeah. So they only more. 
ぜひうちのチームに入りませんかあなたとなら喧嘩を制覇できるかも監督監督まあその話は置いといて今はお財布の心配だけをなさいませ。Despite the coach being an adult, everyone seemed to get along very well with him. Coach, huh? Yoroshko n e g a i s h i m a s e Hinamizawa Fighters c a n t o k no Irie d e s o He extended his hand to me. I firmly grasped it with my own in reply. My b a r d e s Yoroshko. Then the coach took his other hand and began to stroke mine softly. That's freaking weird. Hmm. s u b e s u b e n a o t e t e d e s n e Dude, that's not cool. h i m e m o k o m a k a i s h i お手入れも実にいい感じです。はあ、さわさわ。Okay, he just skyrocketed to like an eight on the weirdness scale. は,はあ、ちょちょちょっと。当家のメイドたちにもこれくらいの肌のお手入れはするよう。厳密に。Oh, I don't like him being the coach of the team anymore. お手入れの悪いメイドたちにはおしおき。Okay, he just went up to a nine out of ten on the weirdness scale. メイド？何の話をしているんですか。はあ。こんなすべすべな手でご奉仕ご奉仕。I don't like the coach anymore. The coach's eyes were spellbound as his delusions floated through his very own original magical universe. He made a supremely satisfied smile. And I call the police. Oh, wait, no, I don't because I'm not a normal person. How do I put this? Who the hell is this guy? Yeah, and what, what does he think he's doing? I don't want to eat his barbecue anymore. <laughs> Who would? That's the natural reaction. A little? He's already a 9.5 out of 10 on the weirdness scale. <laughs> okay, but like, how many girls are on the team? I felt like you couldn't measure him by saying strange or funny. I really didn't think we'd get along. The ever self in my mind made a witty, witty retort for some reason. Thank you! You are weird as all get out. The coach didn't try to take his hands off mine until Satoko hit him with a three hole waste wash bucket attack, causing him to think. He was stroking our hand the entire time and not letting us get away. He's now a 9.8. I don't like this guy.、I've, man, he went from like, oh, this guy's a cool coach, to like, oh my gosh, this guy's so weird. Don't let him around kids real fast. j e e z Louise. New tips unlocked. So, Togo's trap course advanced. <laughs> okay. New Horizons discovered something new about yourself. I hate that. I hate that. Every part of that. Now we get the ominous music. Wow, no! It's her in the coach in the hallway and she looks worried. This is not good. It was a per peaceful lunch break. <laughs> not! Uh oh. Did Brother Bear hit a, a baseball for the chemistry lab window again? <laughs> We rushed into the hallway, and to our surprise, Coach was there with a water bucket overturned on his head. Ah, karma. He'll be fine. Uh-huh. Hey, you got me. Coach greets us, cool and calm. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. お仕事の絡みでして私毎週学校には来てるんですよここしばらくは何事もなかったのですっかり油断してましたさとこちゃんの罠は忘れた頃に来ますからね大丈夫ですか服<笑>いえいえちょうど行水がしたいと思ってたところですからね実に涼しくていいですよ Alrighty. Well, it was great seeing you, coach. <laughs> We gotta get back to lunch. 
その辺が大人って感じだよね。I know I was just talking about how terrible Kochi was, but you know what? We could use more calm coaches that don't get mad these days, I think. <laughs> She was right. If I were coach, I would have started running around with the bucket still on my head looking for her. His adult way of not getting mad at every little child's prank was admirable. いいですか、前原さん。こういうのは考え方一つで腹立たしくも愉快にもなるんです。Okay, well, that was great, coach, but we gotta get back to lunch now. Uh huh, well, ain't, ain't that a thing? Uh huh, well, 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 ain't that a thing? I don't like where this is going. Uh huh, so, when you are. I really don't like where this is going. I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 I'm not sure A space filled with dreamy maids in pink and peach adorned with frills and headbands, with Coach at their center, began to spread out before me. Shinmai maids, たちはそのピチピチさと初々しさでご主人様の茶碗を一緒に。でもそれが先輩メイドたちには許せないのです。Can we get back to like the torture stuff? That's much more preferable. Let's get. いじめていじめていじめ抜いて。ほら、まだこんなに埃が残っていますよ。ああすみませんもう一度やり直しバシャーバケツを逆さにぶっかけられるメイドさんびしょ濡れのメイドさんが泣きそうになりながらそれでもけなげに Dude, you are saying all of this out loud in the middle of a school Why aren't the cops arresting this guy? メイドー Rana, go back to lunch. And can somebody please punch this guy? Rana, mo maido san i no. 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 Ah, ah, mo. Rana ma de kanka sarete kita. Well, Rana is easily infected. Ora, Kei chan mo. Itsu ma de mo kantoku no sekai ni hitatte i nai. I agree. Coach's world is a bad place. You don't want to go there. Kore sae na kireba, kantoku mo kishite waru hito san i nai. How did Satoko go from being the worst character to the best one in this chapter? <laughs> well, no, I, st I still like Rika the best, but Satoko's really growing on me, though. Mm -hmm. Satoko Ron coaches in his creepy mood today. As always. Can we please punch this guy? <laughs> Okay, can we please dump him down a pit and leave him there for like two days? Yeah. Coach plucked Satoko up and started giving. Uh, what the butts? <laughs> Satoko chan kai. Arrest this man! Tensai tek na yomi de trap o ayatsuru Satoko ga doushite kono tenmatsu made a yome nai no ka. Why are we laughing at this like it's a, a fun, quirky character trait of his? Why is no one calling the cops on this guy? This is the kind of coach where, like, when you're an adult, you like look him up and you realize that he was sleeping with a bunch of the students. That's the vibes I'm getting. I don't want her to elaborate any further. I'm just trying to think, like, if my mom ever just randomly starts watching one of my streams, it's gonna be real hard to explain to her what's going on. I'm like, look, I don't like this. <laughs> I want, I want it to get to the horror stuff. And she's like, what? And I think that's stupid. Rana gave a cool smile and laughing abruptly explained. 
さとこちゃんの罠にかかったらちゃんと怒ったり笑ったりしてさとこちゃんを追いかけてほしいのそういう猫の甘え髪みたいなの可愛いと思わないかな No I don't Can we get the teacher to kill? ここで驚いて飛びのきますわだからここに仕掛ければ絶対にかかりますの Satoko regaling us with her trap philosophy was improving this already brutal trap hell on the mountain. If Rena was right and her traps are to get people to pay attention to her, then all of these traps on the mountain were basically a crystallized form of those feelings. Alone with Rika chan, setting up trap after trap after trap in the mountains, always waiting for someone to fall into them. But nobody needed to come to this mountain in the first place. Without a doubt, she and Rika chan had spent a lot of time imagining how victims caught in their traps would react. Satoko separated for so long from, from her beloved Nini, Satoshi. With her stubbornness, she never once said that she wanted him to come home. But with all the traps sleeping on the mountain, told me how Satoko really felt. I was, but a small piece of fluff flew into my ear. Ah, gome gome. Nanote. Konoyoni, Kino Miki ni Kugio Ipo, Tsuketa Dakedemo, Lipana Torapu ni Narin desnoyo. ちょうどあそこで転げて、ここに死体を打ち付ければ、痛いですわよ。釘の頭に人間トンカチってわけか。そ、それは痛そうだな。このトラップはきっと悪い悪人を懲らしめる強力なトラップになりますわよ。どん